spider that I have really, really missed over the last few months. It's a type of spider that I used to see all the time, and I know that Steph's seen one or two on his walks. I think some of the others have seen a few of them. It is There is a massive, massive spider web between myself and Viam, and of course, this massive, gorgeous spider, and a particular species that inspires terror in all arachnophobes out there, particularly when you get guests that come and see them. This is a garden orb spider, it's not a golden orb. This is a garden orb. Um, golden orbs tend to have slightly more orange tinges to their coloring. They also don't have the, the same short banding on the legs, and most importantly, their abdominal shield is is quite round it's not uh, jagged in the way that this lovely lady's is a truly beautiful completely harmless spider can't hurt you well it can it can bite you but you'll you'll live it's not sore it is a little sore let's rephrase that it's a little sore but there's no venom is essentially what i'm trying to say so despite her terrifying look and all of those danger colors those warning colors she's not venomous at all she cannot harm you really little bite from those chelicera perhaps might sting a bit. Now this web stretches, her anchor strand runs from here, from the top here, all the way down and then across from here. And you'll notice that I'm keeping a little bit of a distance back and that's because there's the web itself and then there's a, a backing to it. And the, the construction of the, this sort of web is utterly extraordinary. Everything has a purpose. And I've done this before with an old golden, golden web, but it would work the same with a garden web. I've taken these strands before. They were, it was an abandoned web. Taken these strands, wrapped them together into a piece of string. And it was probably no more than a few millimeters thick, a tiny, maybe a quarter, an eighth of an inch and wrapped it together, you absolutely cannot snap it. It's one of the strongest, it has the strongest tenth style strength of pretty much every substance on earth. So it is an extraordinary thing that they create. And then the, the way that they're designed, I know that we often, you see spider webs in the dew and you see the, the way that they're constructed. To watch them make it is utterly fascinating. And then down here, is a strand of whitish, slightly different colored silk, slightly thicker silk. And one of the purposes that that serves is to stop things like us walking through it. So it's essentially, it's, it, it won't come onto the radar for the bugs that will fly into this web, but for something walking through, it might deter them from actually walking into the spider web itself. So antelope, anything like that, that come wandering along this pathway, they will walk around rather than straight through her web. And it just stops it from being smashed constantly and her having to rebuild it. No sign of any males around here, one fly. Now, uh, Kerry or Perry, I'm not sure whether it's Kerry with a K or Perry with a P. My Kerry with a K. Kerry, it's not a dumb question at all. You want to know if do male spiders make their own webs or is it just female spiders? It's a perfectly valid question because in some species they do and in some species they do not. In the case of the orb spiders, they do not make webs at all. And generally you'll find with these sort of not new world spiders, that's not what I'm look the word I'm looking for. Um, the sort of the younger species in terms of their time on Earth and their evolutionary time. The younger species, the males, tend to hang on the edges of the web. And actually you often see in golden web or garden golden orb or garden orb spiders, you often see sign or you often see a male. But I don't see any sign of them. The males are tiny in comparison to our lovely lady, who is essentially just to give you a sense of scale, and put this hand up. That's how big she is. She's the size of my palm, at least, with her legs. The, spy the male spiders are... Fly. Male spiders are about a quarter of the size of her abdomen. Much, much smaller. And run the risk of either getting a chance to mate or potentially being eaten. And if you watch the way that they work, they, they often tap out a little bit of a rhythm on the strand of web that she's on to say, please don't eat me, I'm a male spider, not your food. And even then she might decide actually she's not really in the mood, perhaps she has a headache and she'll go and eat him instead.
So they do run a serious risk. You also often find, and unfortunately I can't find one on this web. I haven't seen that many this season. My absolute favorite, one of my favorite spiders, apart from baboon spiders, which is something called a dewdrop spider or a mercury spider. 